Alright, what's going on everybody? Tom here. Today we are checking out a Red Eyes deck. So Red Eyes is a deck I have been struggling to find one that's consistent. This so far has been the best I could come up with. So the entire purpose of this deck is essentially to get as many of the fusion monsters on the field. So one and one, one here, Slash Dragon, Flare Metal Dragon, burn out the opponent, stall them with Skill Drain. Uh, it could work, it might not work. I'm not saying go out and rush to build this deck, but if you want to build a functioning Red Eyes deck, because it is a lot of fun, um, go for it. Give it a shot. It's actually a lot of fun to do that, and you also have access to Zeus and access code fairly easily if you need that extra kill power to like close out a game. Uh, my only real complaints about this deck, it does brick fairly often. So there's definitely some things I still need to do to make it a bit more consistent, like for example, switching out these two with more Ash Blossoms once I get them would help out a ton. Maybe putting in a second Red Eyes Darkest Metal, I'm not 100% sure. But either way, this deck is actually pretty fun, and I've been having a blast running it, so hey, let's go try and win some games with it. So this deck could work either going first or second. I still prefer to go first if I can to set things up, but also if I go first and get a crap hand, well, that's usually, that is what it is. But this is actually a pretty good hand to go first with, so first and foremost, we're going to do Red Eyes Inside. Put a red eyes in the graveyard is the main reason to do this, but also it lets us get a spell. And honestly, we're gonna take red eyes fangle chain. And then we're basically gonna work towards getting red eyes slash dragon, because red eyes slash dragon with fang with chain gets us some negates. So we're gonna link black metal dragon into, into Pisty, pretty much just to get black metal into the graveyard. Pisty's really just there to allow us to summon darkness metal, which we're gonna search right now. There he is. All right, and then things are going to get a little bit interesting. So, Dark Metal. Get rid of you. Summon you. And we're going to use his effect in order to summon Blackstone of Legend over here. And we'll use Blackstone's effect to give us a Red Eyes. So, Blackstone can search any Red Eyes monster in the deck. We're going to take Flare Dragon, actually. Then we're going to use Return of the Dragon Lords get us regular Red Eyes Black Dragon. And then we have a couple choices here. But, let's see. There are a couple things we can do, but I think the best choice is basically just, yeah, let's go with the Flare Metal. Flare Metal Dragon. So Flare Metal Dragon basically will Essentially, just burn the opponent every time they activate a card, which will just give us an edge. And Red Eyes Fang with Chain is a deceptively good card because it lets us pretty much just take one opponent's monster out of commission and equip it to one of these monsters. So if we can time that right, we can break their combo. Uh, obviously, you can just like Raigeki or some crap right now, which I was probably going to do. That's been my luck, but let's see how it goes. But this is not the strongest one. We have no negates right now. I could have gone for Red Eyes Slash Dragon instead. Uh, with, but I think waiting till next turn to make that play is a bit better of a choice. We'll see though. We'll see what happens. We can re-summon Blackstone of Legend and get another Red Eyes later. We're going to go for the Max C. If anything, that might deter him from making his move. We don't need Fangle Chain. Actually, I should equip Fangle Chain. And there we go. There's 500 burn damage. Would have liked to get two on the field turn one, but we didn't have the resources to make that happen. If we did, I blew it, but I don't think we did. By the way, guys, sorry, my voice is still a little shot, not 100%, so... But we're, we're getting there. We're getting better. What is this? What deck are you running? Six Samurai. It's pretty cool. We're going to activate this now. That way, whenever he does something, we want to try and steal a monster, we can do that. Uh, we're going to put it on... We're going to put it on Dark Metal. All right, he's running Six Samurais. I'm not entirely sure what their thing is. It's been a while. I guess we're going to find out. Six Samurais, I remember being fun, though. Who's Shien's Dojos? Okay. It's fine, I guess. Keep, keep hurting yourself. And if he wants to special summon something, that is A-OK -okay with me, my friend. I'm going to wait until he gets out whatever fusion or synchro or excuse or whatever he's trying to go for and then steal that with the Fangle Chain. There's Droplet. That's pretty good. He doesn't have the power to kill me right now. I don't think he has any targeting abilities. I think we're OK. I've actually not seen a Six Samurai deck in Master Duel, so I don't remember what to do. It's been a long time. This is when we take his monster. This is when we take it. Brianak. It's an interesting pick, but we're just going to go ahead and steal Brianak for ourselves, And we're just going to... Yeah, he's ours now. So we lose a little bit of attack points for it, but he loses the monster completely. It's ours now. That should break his combo completely, I think. Okay. That's all right. We didn't completely break his combo, but we did interrupt him. Because Brianak can be pretty annoying. So having him out of the play... Having him out of play is actually really good for us, because we still have our dragons. He could have just bopped them right back to the hand at that rate. So, that's fine. He still could special summon something, but also... Uh, he's just giving me cards. 
He's just taking damage as a Flare Dragon. This is going just fine. I've got enough cards in hand to make another play. I could just search Red Eyes Fusion and go for the kill, honestly, at this point. Okay. So he can kill Darkest Metal now, but also he's making it pretty damn easy for me. Actually, yes. Let's use Return of the Dragon Lords. Perfect. So we actually have the power to win right now. What we need to do... Your game, okay, we got a full hand again. But we can finish him off right now. So first of all, we're going to use Red Eyes Inside. We're going to go for Custom of the Grave. There's a very important reason to do that. Honestly, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. All I needed was the Red Eyes in the Graveyard. That doesn't really bother me much at all. There we go. We get the burn damage out of it anyway. And alright, so what we're going to do... We're going to do some of this. Detach Red Eyes. It's a special Red Eyes. And we're not done, boys. We're not done, boys. We're going to get two of them. We're going to get two of them. We're going to get Nocto Vision Dragon. His, his effect will allow him to special summon himself when a dark monster is summoned. Uh, and then we can do it one more time. Special another Red Eyes Black Dragon. And you guys can probably see what we're going for here. So we could drop with him right now and just make his effect useless, which is exactly what I'm going to do. We got a full board of red eyes. Uh, we're gonna discard. I don't need his brain act, so let's get rid of it. You know, and he, he, all right, it's good, it's ready. Basically, we had the full red eyes board. It was beautiful. That is what happens when things go right. And uh, red eyes fang with chain is beautiful because it allows us to just get rid of the one problem on the field early. Awesome, beautiful, fantastic, good first game. Let's try and do it one more time. Okay, this is also a pretty good going first hand. As long as we have black metal dragon in our hand at the start, uh, we got a good start ahead of us, boys. So, same deal as last time. We're just going to link it off to get us um, Red Eyes Darkness Metal. But we'll get there eventually. Really, the only real play we can make here is to start off with just the Meteor Black Comet Dragon. Because I think that is just the best call. Yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do. So, we're going to go into Predator Plant, Verti, Anaconda. And with Anaconda, with Verte. We're going to actually search out... Well, first of all, hold on, hold on. There we go. We're going to search out Red Eyes Slash Dragon and then get Red Eyes Fangless Chain on it to get us some protection on the field. The next turn, we could return to the Dragon Lords, do all kinds of great stuff. But yeah. Meteor Black Comet Dragon is, is very tempting, but Slash Dragon, I think, with the protection it offers, is just a better call. So let's do that. Okay, Slash Dragon. So Slash Dragon is pretty cool because when it has an equipped card, it gets an negate. The Red Eyes Fangless Chain has an equip, plus when it attacks, it gets an equip. I think this is overall the best we've got right now. So, yeah, Verte might get screwed over over there, but I think we're going to be just fine. We got a Red Eyes in the Graveyard. We got a solid next turn play. I think we're going to be okay. What is this? Burning Abyss. Pretty cool. Maxi. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but Maxi. Uh, today is an interesting day for duels, man. I'm seeing some, some cards I have never seen before, like, in play. Last guy with Six Samurai. This dude with Burning Abyss. Pretty cool. Do I know much about Burning Abyss? Not really. If I remember right, we're going to wait until he fuses or exceeds whatever he's going to do, and we're going to steal that monster. All right. So I am going to equip Red Eyes Fang with Chain just so I have negates, and also the ability to steal a monster when the time comes, which I think will be very valuable with Slash Dragon specifically. Hopefully next turn. If he somehow leaves Verte alive, we're going to use it again to summon Comet Dragon and just go for the win. If he doesn't leave Verte alive, that's fine. That's fine. We could, so we could uh, easily get... Red Eyes Fusion back. Timmy Spirit is pretty good too, in case things go fully south. Who are you? What do you do? He's paying half his life points to special summon a level 6 for Lone Monster. There's Red Eyes Fusion. We're good for next turn. As soon as he tries to exceed summon whatever he's doing, whatever play he goes for, we steal that monster. I think we've got the optimal plan here for this to work. I think Red Eyes Slash Dragon was the right call. He could just bop it right now, but I feel like anything he has might be a targeting effect, which means I can save it. I think we're sitting pretty all right here. I think we're sitting pretty all right. We're going to huge next turn order from the Dragon Monster to bring back this Red Eyes. Can't quite get back Darkness Metal, but... Okay, so we're going to... I don't really want to steal Verte Anaconda. So if he's going to use Verte's effect, we're going to steal whatever he summons. I don't need a 500 attack Red Eyes Black Dragon. I don't. <laughs> that just does not sound optimal. We got Steel Drain out of that, though. That's beautiful. Uh, we can do our play next turn and then lock him out. Unless he can somehow kill me right now. Drop those 2,000. I'm going to steal whatever he creates. Whatever monster he brings out, we are stealing. He's taking. He's using Super Poly. It's all dark monsters on the field. Whatever he can do, he can do. 
I should run Super Poly. I just don't want to spend the UR points on it, but I definitely should also run Super Poly. All right, if he can kill me this turn, we're in trouble. But also, he's got very close, but not quite. But now we've got a clear board. We've got Gamma. We've got Gamma. We can Gamma him. Whatever effect he tries to use, we can Gamma it. He is very close to being able to kill me, though. But I, he's not going to. Damn, did I underestimate Super Poly? Because I don't have the life. I'm not gonna have the life points to use skill drain after this. Kind of sucks. All I have to do is get two monsters with enough attack points down the field, and we win. So. Small setback, but it's not going to stop us. Let's just go for the kill right now. Imperm is very good. So, I can play it from my hand if I have no cards, right? Let's just stop this guy right now. I don't like his effect. If he has an effect to stop it, we're going to Gamma him. And then we can go into Omega. <laughs> so then, you know, go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Stop it. Please, I, I dare you. I dare you to target something. Crush card virus. Is this boy serious? Crush card. He's not going to touch my Tendy Spear. It's 100 or less, or is it? Ooh. I've never been crush carded before. That's crazy. But I have an interesting idea. If I use Return of the Dragon Lords, you know what? Honestly? Yeah, get him in the graveyard. That helps me. So, use Return of the Dragon Lords. I want to use Return of the Dragon Lords effect to stop it. That's my idea here. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And then we're going to use Return of the Dragon Lords effect to stop it from destroying it, right? This became a duel very quickly, but I think we're fine. Yeah, there's nothing you can do to stop my red eyes. Which means... We we kill this thing. And yes, we're going to activate that effect. Get some extra damage in. So his effect will allow him to attach any, any warrior monster from my graveyard and just equip it to himself. He has nothing to stop this. I wish I could skill drain to just put, it, just put this duel to bed. But he's got nothing that can stop this, and we've got Return of Dragon Lords in the graveyard, which will stop him from basically being able to kill my monster for one turn. And I doubt he has anything with more than 3,000 points. His whole play was Crush Card. And the Crush Card won't do anything if the monster's already in the graveyard. So, you know, uh, so long, I guess. <laughs> I think we could have played a little better by not throwing all the red eyes in the graveyard and just killed him. And I can't skill drain, I can't do anything else. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he's got. This is one of the more unique duels. I've never seen anybody actually use Crush Card in this game. Good thing it doesn't work how it does in the anime, <laughs> you know? Good thing it doesn't work how it does in the anime. But Slash Dragon has the negate, he's got the protection. I don't think he has anything that can get rid of it, which I'm pretty sure uh, we win. This guy's entire deck is virus-based? Bro, does he not know that there's an ongoing pandemic? Destroying Gamma doesn't really change anything. And honestly, if I can destroy cards, oh, so I want to get destroy cards on my deck to throw uh, <laughs> the red eyes in the graveyard. All right, you die. This would be a good card to actually include in this deck. Damn, I didn't even think of that. It's almost entirely dark monsters. I might actually do that maybe later. Deck devastation virus. I mean, if he's got nothing next turn, he loses straight up. This dude made a crush card deck. Interesting. Is this actually going to work? It actually worked. I can't believe he got the luckiest draw of all time. All because I didn't have enough life points for skill drain. That sucks, dude. No, he's got it. He's got the win. He's got the win. That's such a shame. I feel like we had it, man. He had the one card that could stop it, too. That sucks so much. All right. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to you, Chris. You made a um, very unorthodox strategy work. Uh, let's bring it back in the next game. That's pretty fun duel. That was pretty fun, actually. This is uh, unique. Uh, this is a better going first hand. Can't stop any of his plays, so we'll see what he does. He is using a divine, a sacred beast deck. Very interesting. Skill Drain is going to just destroy these guys. That's going to be beautiful. Let's see what he can get off, though. If he can get a strong first play, it could be a wash just like that, but I, I don't know. We'll see what he can do. This deck is usually fairly slow, so he might have a turn or two to, to stop it. But if he's got what he needs, oh, oh it's going to be tough. Yeah, dude. So he's going to have one of them on the field. If he goes for uh, for Raviol, that's going to be the toughest one to deal with. We have Droplet, though. And Droplet alone will pretty much win us the duel. Why would he do that? He could have just summoned it raw. My dude is throwing his entire deck in the graveyard. He's going for a strat, it seems. Uh, he's going to literally just mill his entire deck, and I don't think that's what he meant to do. Um, You have 11 cards in your... I don't know what this dude was going for. 
he just build his entire deck on his own. I'm, I'm curious what his play is here. I've never seen this uh, particular build. It seemed like kind of a waste, though, to throw out half your deck just to get one card on the field when he could have done it without doing that. Ah, for each trap in the graveyard. I thought it had to be on the field. My dude made Yuria have 15,000 attack points. Oh, that's a ballsy move. Let's see if it works out for him. Uh, because I'm about to, uh, <laughs> I'm about to droplet him. <laughs> okay, so he got the monster out, which is uh, fantastic for him. Uh, <laughs> but uh, here's what we're going to do, boys. Oh, it doesn't get rid of all the attack, huh? It only got rid of a little bit. How am I killing this thing? Uh, I don't know. See, this is why I actually have more fun in gold, though. You see some more interesting strategies and things. Like, up in Platinum, everyone's rocking, like, Tri-Brigades, uh, Eldritch. Like, they're, they're all I see. Like, period, they are everything I see. So, guys, here's the strategy we're going to go for. Here's what we're going to try and do. I'm going to do everything in my power, physically possible, to summon, uh, to get a big eye on the field and steal this dude. Uh, that doesn't that didn't change anything. Okay, that's fine then. So what we need, we need this. We absolutely, oh, that is the strategy, dude. We're gonna, we're gonna grab him with this. I've never seen somebody make a deck that made Yoria the card that's actually the threat. That's crazy. I don't think this is gonna work. It's not gonna lower its attack points. It did work. It lowered his attack down to zero. We're in business. Hold on a second. We are in business. He can't use his effect to take out Skill Drain. So if he hit Skill Drain, oh, we'd have been in danger. But now, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good now. I didn't think that we I thought we were about to just die. What is, what is he... What is he doing? Ah. Uh. Oh my god! Okay. All right, you know what? I respect the shit out of it. He made a deck with a card that uh, we all assume was bad work, and he hit me for 19,000 points. We're gonna do one more duel, though, because I was not ready for that. God damn. All right. Not the worst first hand, not the best, but I think we can make every play we need to right now, so let's do that. So you, defense mode. Red Eyes Insight, absolutely. Got Fang with Chain 2, which is pretty good. So we're gonna toss Black Flare in the graveyard. And we're going to grab Red Eye Spirit. Alright, Blackstone of Legends. Use Blackstone of Legends effect. For normal ass Red Eye's Black Dragon. Then, a couple plays here, but I think the obvious choice is Red Eye's Flare Metal. Turn one Flare Metal, uh, not to be overlooked, it's a good card. And we're going to take attach regular red eyes to summon back the flare red eyes and then if we don't get a play next turn we can gemini him all right uh not a bad starting hand we got red eyes family chamber off the bat we got red eyes spirit to bring back but i should have put uh darkness metal in the graveyard would have been a better play probably i forgot i had red eyes spirit and i forgot that that would work for red eyes spirit but it's fine i think return of red eyes is probably the card you need to change up get rid of red eyes spirit and then return of red eyes what are you at emancipators huh uh, I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll equip this. There is not to. No, I see that he's got one. So remember, whenever he fuses something, uh, we fang with chain the shit out of it to take it. Assuming it has some power, because I don't want to steal something that just makes my monster destructible by anything. But let's see, it's a gem knight. Gem knight out of mass creatures, huh? Interesting. Save Red Eyes for next turn if we have to. Whatever he synchros, we're probably stealing. God, I wish I had Max C right now. What do you do? All right. He's going for a link play. We steal whatever he's doing. Whatever he does, we steal it. He's just doing damage to himself right now. And you know what? That is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Same effect, huh? Okay. He can get a big link play. He can get a big synchro play. They're all tuners. But he also may not get anything out of it. Oh, there's, one. there's another Gem Knight. Yeah, Adam Anticator Gem Knights. Dude, I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this at all. This is a combination of things here. But once again, just hurting himself. No reason to do any of those things just yet. I would like to get a second Red Eyes Flare Metal. It would have been so great. He'd have been done. He'd have done so much damage to himself. So he's going to do a little bit of damage to me. I don't think it's really a big deal. He's going to basically 
equal the damage I did to him, which is hilarious. I'm just waiting for my opportunity. I'm waiting for the correct opportunity to steal his monster. I feel like he doesn't know what this does. Do your damage, that's fine. This is just a burn off right now. Unless he has a way to do it again. But I feel like he's gonna go for a big link play and go for the kill right now. So whatever he creates, we steal. I need some I need something to steal. I need to break his combo, so I'm I just don't know the correct moment, so I have to read whatever card. He's doing the gem knight. He's gonna go for the burn kill right now. He's gonna summon that annoying ass thing again. Uh, let's see. Can he use? He can only have to be one million fusion per turn. He can't do it again. So that's fine. He can't do it again. Let's see. Is that some kind of burner? Let me see. What do you do? I don't know if he's the final. If he's the final boss here, but he's got the power. Let's take him. You, you get over here. You're, you're mine now. You're now one of us. Thank you for the slight boost in damage. Not sure if that broke his combo completely, but all we have to do now. It's Gemini Black Flare Dragon, and we win the duel. Straight up, that's all we have to do, is Gemini Black Flare Dragon. Because when he attacks, when he battles a monster, he does damage equal to his attack. So let's see. Decode Talker. He's got the negate there. If he goes for Flare Metal, that's the wrong call. But he is, therefore we're going to use his effect to summon up another, another card first. There we go. He's about to die, may as well. May as well just summon up another red eyes. Now let's see. Yeah, he's going to lose. Because I'm gonna use Black Flare. And then, we're gonna Verte Anaconda. Yeah, yeah, he's going to lose this turn, that's amazing. Yeah, I see how I win. It's basically, as long as I can get an attack off Black Flare, and then after the battle phase, all right, we can we can use Red Spirit now. I think we're gonna be just fine. His effect isn't really gonna be very useful there, but he's on the field. Maxi, great, wonderful, perfect timing. But all right, boys, so, what do I have in the grave? Here's what we're gonna do. First of all, we're gonna normal summon you. And then all we have to do to win this duel is do a normal attack, and he might know that and just be scooping right now. He might just get out of here right now, which is, would be pretty disappointing. Because I wanted to do the play, so just let me do it. Just like let me, just let me do it, bro. I'm gonna beat the shit out of your analyzer real quick. I think he knows he lost, and he's gonna scoop. He's about to leave. But yeah, basically, I was going to attack with Black Flare Dragon, use Black Flare Dragon's effect to burn him for 2,400, and then Verte Anaconda into uh, Meteor Comet Dragon and just destroy him. But uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it. That is the Red Eyes deck that I have come up with right now. Uh, it's not perfect, and any improvements, uh, drop them in the comments below, absolutely. But it's, you know, two for two. It's consistent enough. It's a fun-ass deck, though, and I feel like once they add Dragoon back in, it will actually be really competitive. But it can still win. Skill Drain saves lives. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this video and want more, subscribe, because I am making a lot of Master Duel content lately. I'm starting to get my health back a little bit, so it should be a little more frequent now. But uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Like the video. All that great stuff. Let me know in the comments below what deck you want me to try to run next. Egyptian Gods technically won the poll, so I do still got to do that. So expect that shortly. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Till then, everybody.